วัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Hot Thai Kitchen. Today I'm going to make some fresh rice noodles, the same kind that I used in my pad ki mao, pad si u, and rat na videos. I've received many frustrated mails with people saying I can't find these fresh rice noodles anywhere. So not a problem. We will just make it. It's actually very easy. There's just a few tricks here and there, but completely doable. So let's take a look at our ingredients. One cup of rice flour, half a cup of tapioca starch, one and a half cup of water, and some neutral flavored oil such as canola oil or vegetable oil, and a pastry brush. And in addition to that, you also need some flat bottomed pans and a steamer, such as the one that I've got set up over there. Or you can get one of these steamer rack and just put it in a big pot that's got a lid on it. All right. So let's take a look. So the idea is we're making a batter, very much like a crepe batter, and we're going to cook it into a sheet, just like crepe, and then we're going to cut it into noodles. So let's make our batter. I've got. The rice flour here, and the tapioca starch. Now I'm using a two to one ratio. The ratio is actually flexible. The rice flour will make the noodles soft, while the tapioca flour will make the noodles chewy. Will give that satisfying chew. So the more you use, the chewier it is. Um, so you can kind of play around with it a little bit. You can use a little less. This ratio gives noodles with quite a good chew, um, but you can totally see what you like better. We're going to add some water, but I'm not going to add it all. I'm actually going to add enough just so we can kind of vigorously stir or knead it. And this step isn't absolutely necessary, but I think what happens is the way I understand it is if you agitate it, like kneading or vigorously stir, you will. Help break apart the starch molecules. So the starch molecules like to hang out together in clusters. When you add water, some of the starch molecules actually get trapped in the middle of that cluster. So if you kind of vigorously stir it or knead it, you help break apart the clusters and allow the water to be absorbed more completely, and it gives a more chewy noodles. Now I think I've added a little too much water. It's Little runnier than I wanted, but that's okay. It's ab not absolutely necessary. You can just go ahead and dump the whole, all of the water in. But this little step makes a little bit of a difference. And then we dump in the rest of our water. And that's pretty much it. Now we're gonna do we're going to go over to the stove and. Cook our batter. Okay, so first, what you want to do is oil your plates. Now, when you choose your plates, you want to make sure it's very flat. Otherwise, you won't get even thickness of the noodles. And now, I'm going to wipe this with the paper towel. And I'm wiping it because if you, there's too much oil, especially some brushes hold a lot of liquid. If there's too much oil, the oil will actually float and Into droplets and end up making holes like Swiss cheese in the noodle. So you want to make sure there's just a thin coating and not too much. Oh, and also when you choose your plates, make sure it's thin, because if it's thick, it'll take a really long time for it to cool down, and it'll take you forever to be able to reuse it again. Um, I did this once with a glass pie plate. Bad idea. <laughs> okay, so I'm using for this size. A little less than two ounces, but you're, that's something you're going to have to play around with, with your plate, depending on the size of your plate. And now we're going to put it in the steamer, jiggle it a little bit so it's all even. Okay, and then o close, and then while that's going. We'll make another one. So make sure you stir this every time. This will be done in seconds, by the way. Um, stir this every time so that so that the starch doesn't settle on the bottom. And you should do the first one. If this is your first time, take it out and see the thickness of your noodles, and then adjust from there to see if you need more or less. 
And sometimes it'll be hard to, if you're trying to make the noodles thin, like this time, trying to make it thinner, it'll be hard because of surface tension of the liquid to get it all covered. It'll sometimes tend to either go on one side or either go on the other side. If that happens, just um, put it on the steamer and jiggle. And as it heats up, it'll hold, the part of the bottom will will stay put because it's starting to cook and then jiggle it so that the top part, the uncooked part, run to cover the the empty bits. So that's done and how you know it's done is because it's matte. It's not running anywhere. <laughs> so so we'll put in the second one while that one cools down. Okay. And see I'm just gonna jiggle it, make sure that part is covered. that. While that one's cooking, we're going to oil this one. Now this time you don't have to be too careful about how much oil. You're just trying to make sure this oil is actually to prevent the noodles from sticking. That one should probably be done now. And you'll get a good a, a rhythm going. At first it might be like, ah, so many things going on, I don't know what to do next. Um, you'll get a rhythm going and there's no need, that's not done yet. There's no need to rush, so I'm going to take that out using a offset spatula or any kind of flat spatula you can get a hold of and run, run it around the edges and then pull it out. and then lay it flat on a cutting board and then we'll repeat the whole process. Oh, that one's done now. And then this is it, you just keep going. Okay, so it's all done now. Now, unless your stove sits absolutely flat, there usually is going to be a thick side and a thin side. Don't worry about it, that's fine. You can, if there's an obvious thick side, you can cut it, like I have. Obviously this side is thicker, you can cut it and just, you know, get rid of it if you want, but it's not necessary. So with this, decide how thick your noodles are going to be. I like to do like three quarters of an inch thick, something like that. And now you're just going to take them and there you have your noodles. Yay! And our last one. Ta-da! And that's it. That's our pile of noodles. Now if you can help it, um, use this the day that you make it. Avoid putting this in the fridge because they become a little hard and a little harder to handle. But if you absolutely have to put them in the fridge, just don't leave them in the fridge in the pile like this. Lay them flat on a plate and then put it in the fridge. It'll be easier to handle the next day. I've made this the night before and just keep it in a cool part of the room of the house and then use it the next day and they're they're still okay. All right, and now for the recipes that use these noodles, you can visit hatthaikitchen.com. I have pat kimao, uh, pat siu, and rat na for your enjoyment. And if you like the show, please subscribe and I will see you next time for your next delicious Thai meal.